I'm sweating already. <laughs> This band is too hot. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> All right. That's what I like it. Thanks so much for being here at Monks. Uh, it's a pleasure to be in Austin playing for you guys some Brazilian jazz. And, uh, you know, we're trying to keep real here. And, uh, you know, we love uh, Brazilian music. So we try to keep everything in the roots, you know, on the land and connection with the sky. So uh, we started with uh, a song by Vestido Longo, uh, by Arismar, the Spirit Santo, a great uh, musician uh, from uh, Sao Paulo, a multi-instrumentalist. And uh, it was kind of a samba funk, you know, kind of vibe. And uh, we connect this song from the Lonely Afternoons from Milton Nascimento. I decided to play this song because, you know, when I moved to, to the States, I bought Wayne Shorter, Native Dancer album. And uh, this song was there in this album. Actually, it was a cassette tape. I don't know if you guys, you know, guys know cassette tape. That's right. So it's been a long time ago. But uh, it's amazing, you know, uh, the connection. You know, when I was outside of Brazil for the first year, and uh, I hear, you know, Wayne Shorter playing the music of Mil Nascimento, and uh, this song just catch me and uh, never left me. So I always play because uh, the drummer, Robertinho Silva, does a great job, you know, and he's one of my, you know, heroes in Brazilian drumming. And uh, Ricky had a chance to play with Milton, so he, he was, you know, a big part of, you know, of this sound that we just made right now. So let me introduce very quick this amazing musicians. Gabriel Santiago from Bahia, Brazil. Yeah. Russell Haight on saxophone, tenor, and soprano. And the one and only Hick Vantaja on keyboards and piano. <laughs> so, um, I would like to invite uh, Colin to come and say a few words. Colin, please. Thank you. Uh, one more time for Adriano Santos and this amazing band. Uh, thank you all for coming out to Monks. Again, my name is Colin Shook. Uh, I created Monks. I'm a jazz pianist as well, but I created Monks back in 2016 because there was not a single venue in town where you could go just listen to a jazz band. Every single spot in town back then, uh, it was loud bars and you could barely hear you know, bass solos or yourself soloing and all that. And we were doing these pop-up shows two or three times a month and uh, did that for quite a few years. You know, Kept trying to find a bar to open or somewhere to take over, but that's kind of an insane endeavor. Uh, during the pandemic, we started streaming in June found a little studio around the corner and moved in here of March of 21. And uh, I'm really enjoying the ability to present so much amazing, you know, local Austin and Central Texas jazz and Houston players and people from around the world. Um, and, and, you know, doing this experiment where we're recording and doing all these live tapings. Are you guys enjoying the spot tonight? Y'all yeah. having some fun? Um, well, I would encourage you to tell your friends about this spot. Uh, we have one more show coming up this week, uh, Sunday night. The Tommy Howard Quintet. He's a fantastic guitar player here in town. But he's doing a whole set of music dedicated to the music of Roy Hargrove, a great trumpeter um, in, that was in New York. But he, uh, he passed away several years ago. But uh, he's got a great uh, catalog of tunes he's bringing in for that. And then we're taking about a week and a half off uh, doing a bunch of different um, things here in the studio in the evenings. But please check out the calendar at monksjazz.com. You can follow us on social media. You can catch, I think we're about 380 concerts just like this on our live stream. So you can check out our YouTube channel and hear all these amazing bands th from throughout you know, the last year and a half, two years. Uh, so again, I want to thank you all for coming out. If you're tuning in online, we do have a small studio in here. Luckily, we sold this room out. Thank you guys, but uh, please go to that Venmo, that PayPal, support these fine musicians. Thank you.
Hello. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. We, uh, we played three songs. Uh, the first one was... Uh, was a broken foot, uh, by the great piano player Kiko Continentino. I played with him in New York um, a few years back, and uh, he brought this chart, you know, I was really digging, and then I found the, the track, and uh, listened to a lot of his uh, compositions, and especially uh, Renato Braza on uh, drums. Beautiful song, written from the northeast of Brazil, Maracatu and Baião. And uh, we follow by a beautiful song by Tony Horta, uh, De Tom Pra Tom. Uh, he wrote for Antonio Carlos Jobim when the Jobim passed. And it was a beautiful ballad and feature uh, Gabriel Santiago on guitar. I don't know if you noticed, but Gabriel is playing a seven string guitar. Yes, that's right. So that fat bass that you hear is uh, Gabriel's that's delivering for us all night, just keeping the glue, is the glue <laughs> between us. All right, and uh, we just play Adiante, uh, composition by Fabio Gouveia from the gr group uh, Curupira. Uh, he is a bass player on gr group Curupira, and uh, he went to New York and I saw his concert, he was playing guitar and playing beautiful compositions, and I asked him, please, can you send me this chart? I really love that song. <laughs> and he was very kind, you know, so. So, Fabi, if you're watching, you know, thanks so much. So, for everybody in Brazil, thank you so much for being watching, you know, this uh, night here, special night in Austin. Uh, for people in Japan also, uh, around the world, my students around the world. And also a shout out for the Talent House Music School in, in Houston, you know, uh, for the support, Second Baptist Church as well, all my uh, worship team, I hope they are watching. Um, and uh, so we're going to continue uh, with a composition of mine, Samba. It's called Nosso Samba. Uh, I composed this song for the students at the Drummers Collective in New York for them uh, to have a play along, you know, so he could practice their samba beat. So we're going to play Nosso Samba, and then we're going to play Estação Leopoldina, Gafira song by Paulo Moura.
The little end was like the the percussion group like going to the end of the avenue, you know, finishing the batucada. All right, great. Thanks so much. Um, we have two more songs for you, so I don't want to talk uh, too much. But uh, again, Gabriel Santiago on seven string guitar. I heard that uh, Gabriel might be moving out, you know. To another state so yeah i'm not happy about it because we're gonna miss him a lot so i'm starting a hashtag gabriel stay <laughs> so please you know share with your friend rosso hate on saxophone tenor and soprano yeah russell just you know jumped in into the music, you know, amazing job, unbelievable Russell. You kicking ass, my friend. <laughs> Sound great, bro. Thanks so much. And uh, the one and only, this guy, you know, I have, let, me, let me tell a little story. Back in Brazil, uh, my father and my brothers, we used to go to see uh, a lot of jazz uh, groups. I was so fortunate to have two older brothers that, you know, listened to a lot of great music. Some cousins also that listened to a lot of great music. So, and my parents listened to Bossa Nova and Samba, all the great composers. But my brothers and my cousins listened to Jeff Beck, you know, Joe McLaughlin and, and stuff like that, and Spyro Gyra. And uh, so my father took us to see the Free Jazz Festival. It's a free, it's a, was a cigarette brand yeah and they they sponsored great jazz concerts in brazil believe it or not this was 1986 so i saw you know uh hickey was part of one of the main uh instrumental groups uh modern instrumental groups from brazil uh, Cama de Gato, and he was the keyboard player so i saw this guy i was maybe 15 or some 14 this guy playing in sao paulo you know <laughs> Unbelievable, man. And see, now it, go, it, goes, no, it goes full circle. <laughs> this story. <laughs> oh, man, <that's> 
No, the story, the story is that it goes full, full circle, you know. You have your idols and uh, one day you get to play with them. And when Gabriel told me that Hickey had moved to Austin, I was man, so happy I'm going to get to play to, with Ricky at some point, hopefully. So he's here. So, so thanks so much, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky Pantoja. Um, I have to thank, thank my family in Brazil that gave me the support. Uh, to come to study in the United States in 1988 at Berkeley College of Music. So I love you, dad and mom, my brothers and sister-in-laws, everybody in the family, and especially my wife that's here, supporting me here with my craziness, with the music. And um, thanks also, monks, jazz. This place is uh, special, so please keep coming. Please support live music. You know, you're always going to see great music here. Thanks, Colin, and all the staff. Yeah, brother. <laughs> so we're going to play Melancia, a song by Ricky Pantoja, followed by Tana Maria's um, Yatata. I hope you enjoyed the, the concert tonight. I have some CDs. I cannot forget. I have some CDs back in the green room. So if you guys want to get us home with you, please let me know. All right. Thank you, Canopus, Vic Firf, Remo, and uh, Istanbul Agop Symbols, also for all the support for all these years. Thank you. <laughs>
Thanks so much, Rick Pantoja, Gabriel Santiago, Russell Hay. My name is Adriano Santos. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody around the world, thank you so much for watching. Please come back to Monks. Click on the subscription. And uh, you can tip also. There is a link that you can tip the band. If you like the band, you can tip the band. I have some CDs in the back. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.